Hello, and welcome to another episode of Gravesend Australia Diecast Salvage. This video on this channel is directed to the adult community as it contains strippers. Always very entertaining. Videos of nudity. Entertaining. And a man playing with his tools. Adult supervision. Advice for those under 18 years of age. In this episode, we're doing a quick update on our shop truck here. We've taken away the tailgate that's on the back. We've added a winch. We still need to put a hook on the on the winch. Uh, We've been experimenting with making tyres, rubber tyres, these are prototypes, so these are you know, not the best. The other thing we've been working on has been this, this lift, still needs to be sorted out for the parts of this diorama that you're seeing in the in the background which is hidden by a lot of cars but our main thing that we're going to focus on today get my hand out of the way is this little matchbox car all right it reads um if i hold it the right way it might help there we go, Matchbox Series number 52, Dodge Charger, Mark II, made in England, 1970, Lesney product, and it's a super fast, of course. Now, this vehicle, we'll move our hoist out the way, is in not too bad, bad a condition. The tyres are good, the glass is good on it, the base as, as, you, as you just saw is quite good, it's only the, the paint on the top here that's chipped. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on on our efforts today, there's not, well I shouldn't say nothing special. I don't see any foreseeable problems with it. It's just going to be a straight strip and and put, put together again. I'm not repainting the base. The base is um, quite good, so we'll leave that as is. All right, next time you'll see this, we will be at the taking it apart. That's what we'll do. We'll take it apart. Um, so, noise alert as we take the burr off the posts. So, like I said, noise alert. And we have our vehicle apart. Like I said, I'm not um, doing anything with the base, so that can go to one side, actually, and put it into our, our parts tub, so that we don't lose it. Still smells of uh, chicken corn soup, that one. And we'll put it there. Interior also does the back area. So let's see how that one comes out. 
I think just yep, just over the post, like so. That can let go for a wash. And our glass. Okay, it has a little rivet there, so we'll get rid of it. So watch out for the noise. Here she comes. We should be able to pop our screen. Just have to see where, where we can get in at it. Uh, no, we need to take need to take a little bit more off the off the bird. This my old one. Uh, that's what I'm up to. What I to okay. Ones. Thank you. So um, yeah. we'll just take a little bit more of the burr off off our. Little stub there, have our little post mushroom. There's our, our screen. So, just gonna make that hole look just a little bit bigger on the screen so when we come back, we'll go over it quite, quite easily. Don't lose the screen. I don't want to pull it out and damage it any further. So that should now pick it up again. Should be able to go over our post inside quite happily. does there we go screen is out we'll give that a bit of a clean up and I'm gonna try, try something different with the screen um, everybody uses the the floor floor polish yeah it's all self shining floor polish I haven't used this one yet uh, because I have another one that um, something different, but I'm going to try this. It's Pledge uh, Enhancing Polish. Uh, Chines products, wood and more, so it's just a spray can version, I, I dare say. But in um, any case, this is where we're at on this. I'm not taking this off. 
um, I'm leaving that on and we'll and we'll just paint it with the with the, the whole thing together. All right, so we're going to go over to our special room where our strippers are waiting for us. So come along for the ride. All right, we've um, left the strippers to to go home. So we just need to do a bit more clean up on the vehicle. Um, again, this is one of these dental tools, uh, but not the hook. Just going to go inside and, and clean up some, some of the remaining paint that we have here. So that um, we can do the with the wheel wheel well we may use to pop the wheel on the Dremel we um, we may just use the brass brush from uh, Mr. Deer's uh, contribution to the information to this channel. Uh, I'll keep going on this, don't need to bore you so too long. You can see what, how it paints coming off using this particular dental tool. You do have the, um, we do have the, the pick as well, um, that we can use for more of the stubborn bits. Or the um, fine bits where the other tool can't, can't get into. So I'll go back to to the brass brush. So we'll just do a. You know, just, just like you're pol pol polishing your shoe. Uh, just got to be able to hold it in a in a in a nice way. So we really can. bristles of this of this brass brush to go through so I'll continue this off here when we come back she'll be cleaned and ready for primer catch you in a moment okay, today we're going with the dual action battery air compressor
Okay. We'll let that um, dry and uh, then we'll move on to our colour. Okay, the paint that we're using is from Tester or from Model Masters and it's Pearl Grape. So let's see how this one comes out. Ooh, nice. We shall let that one dry and the next part is the assembly. All right, so moving on to the wheels, just need to touch up the, the silver bits to it. If I put my other glasses on, I might be able to see what I'm doing. So it's not the Molotov pen, it's just the silver. Just to freshen up the hubs. This side's not too bad. Yes, we've gone over a little bit. Ready for that. And the next thing that we're going to try is the is this new polish, which is the oops, there goes the, tr there goes the truck. Is the pledge polish. So noise alert. Okay, it's come out as a as a foam. So we're going to get a cotton bud. Get one out of my stash. So I'll just put it in there. No idea how this is going to come out. So doing a live. Excess. While we're at it, we'll do the inside as well. But from what I, from what I'm seeing in front of me here, it's going to come out all right. So I do apologise if I'm off screen. That over there, that there. Just going to take, get another piece of rag. No, I've had too much polish on me. Yes, 
coming out nice and clean. That's the outside. So let's do the inside. So I think that's coming out alright. It's nice and shiny with the light. If you all notice, we, we are a bit brighter tonight than what we were before. So, well, for that aside, so, when we come back, it should be assembly time. Catch you then. And here we have our finished product of the Mac box that we're doing. It's had a new top coat of paint. The hub's been painted and glass has been nicely polished. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'd like to thank my subscribers, new and old, and keep the channel going. Thank you very much. Catch you next time. Bye for now.